Hello friends, it's Sylvia Garanzak here and I am a Gel Moment Independent Distributor. How is everybody doing today? I thought I'd cover a fun manicure that is goes along the lines of using that comic book type of nail art or the pop art nail art, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple different names for it. Um, I already have one finger done here, but I'm going to do some fun stuff with the rest of the fingers. So I'm going to do a comic book tip on this one. I'm going to use some negative uh, nail art. Uh, and you're probably wondering what's going on with the other hand. Don't worry about what's going on the other hand. I'm, I, this is what this is the chronic part of being a nail artist is that there's always something going on. There are always two different hands going on. There's something going on here. Anyways, um, so let us get right to it. It's going to be a, a few little steps here, but the end results I think are going to be worth it. We're going to first start with the French tip on this one. And just to let you know, I have one coat of Maya's cheeks on here with some gelics underneath for some added strength. Um, I wanted to use, because I'm going to be using a little bit of the negative nail art effect on here. So I wanted to have a color that was sheer, kind of looks natural, but just with a bit of color on here. I also have Disco Tech, which is one of my favorite colors. It's definitely a top five. So I'm just basically using, coating all the bristles of my striper brush here and <clears throat> I'm going to do a funky little tip here not your typical French tip but one from this side and I'm just going to swoop down and then when you get close to the edge I just kind of lifted up the brush so that I can get to the edge of the nail this way and not touch the cuticle and I just want this to go like point 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 and now you can either use your striper brush to fill in the rest of the nail or you can use the brush from the bottle to fill in the space here. And we're just going to put a second coat on top of Discotech here and then give it a full cure. Next up, I have a bit of Raven's Kiss over here mixed with some of our, since I grab it here, some of our black stamping gel because I don't want the polish to run. So our polish self levels really well. This black um, gel polish, the stamping gel polish, it's actually more of a paste. So when you mix it in together, it makes the polish a bit thicker so it doesn't self level because I want crisp lines. So I am just using our striper brush. I, you notice that with a lot of my videos, I use the striper brush for almost everything. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm just coating all of the bristles. And what I'm going to do now is just outline the French tip portion, not the entire nail like I did here. We'll give this a full cure. Okay, so that is done. And one of the other reasons why I like to mix the stamping gel in with, when working with blacks and whites especially, is that you really only have to do one pass because it just makes that color even more rich. So now I, for the, the pop nail art look, so the cartoon look, we are going to be putting white accents here and a little bit of a lighter pink over here. So I have Simply White mixed over here with some of our white stamping gel and I'm just mixing it up here and next to me over here, so just give it a, a big, a good mix. And then just, now because I have white on here already, I have some white in here. This is I Pink You mixed with the white stamping gel and actually number 15 of our stamping gel here because I wanted to have not so much very light but a little bit of a darker color and that's what that number 15 is going to give this so it'll pop see how that's going to accentuate and just look really not accentuate but really compliment so i'm just giving this a good mix okay so now i'm taking that same striper brush and let's start with the white so i'm just going to coat all the bristles again and I did clean it with a cleanser pad in between, so I just took all the Raven's Kiss off. And we're going to go on this side here and start from the corner, just a little notch, and then bring it up to the tip. Just beside the white line. See now, I don't like it because I went too far, so I need a cleanser pad in one second. I have happen to have some at my disposal. And let's clean that up. So the great thing, another reason why I cured the black is because if I didn't like the lines that I'm 
coloring, painting, <laughs> polishing in between, then I can just wipe it off and my black outline stays intact. So let's try that again. Okay, that's good. Let's give this just a quick flash cure. All right, I've also cleaned my brush. Now I'm gonna go in with this lighter pink color on the other side. And we'll give this a full cure. Now the next step is to use some of our matter effect to have that matte look on our nail. And you just apply a thin coat all over and just ensure that you're covering the entire nail so you don't have any shiny spots when it comes out of the lamp. Here it is, pretty cool, right? So it's coming along quite nicely. All right, so next I'm going to draw a heart on here. Now it's going to be an upside heart, upside down heart for me when I was practicing on nail sticks, oh my gosh. You know what, hearts can be a little bit tricky to me. I, I don't know why it's me because I really want them to be symmetrical, right? So, um, but when I was practicing on a nail stick, I was actually practicing this way. So maybe I'll do it this way, I'm not sure, but then my hand's shaky. So we're just gonna have to take it a whirl. So normally um, what I can't, what I would do is take a, uh, a bit of that discotech but because it's self levels so much I want like all of our polishes do right but because I have this already here and this has a bit of that stamping gel inside it ends up being more it ends, it's more thick so it doesn't run as much so I'm gonna try and, and I'm trying it out right here I'm gonna try just doing the heart with the light pink one that I have here I'm gonna coat all the bristles of my fine brush here and give it a shot <laughs> see how it goes Hey, not too bad. We're gonna go with this, even though it's going to be a different color, but I'm I'm confident that we're gonna be able to put this on top and we're not really gonna notice the difference because we're going to outline it with black anyways. So let's give this a full cure. Okay, so now the goal is to have discotech everywhere else here. So I've gone back to my original striping brush and I am going to take, use it to basically fill in the spots that is too tight for the big brush from the bottle to fill. So I'm just going to polish some discotech on these spots and also cover the outline of the heart that we did. So at this point, you can continue to use the brush here, or you can just take the polish brush from your bottle and fill in the tip. Okay, let's give this a full cure. So let's do that one more time with one more coat of discotech. Next step is to take some of our Raven's Kiss and we're going to outline the heart also outline the nail. I'm probably going to do the outside of the nail first. Okay, now what I'm looking for, because my nail beds, they actually curl quite a bit into the nail. When you're looking at this from here, you can't really see the black on the sides. So I'm going to try to widen up the black outline just so that you'll be able to see it from the top of the nail. Now for the heart. So I'm just using that same striper brush. I'm just coating all of my bristles here and we're going to outline the heart. Now let's add a bit of those reflective properties on our heart, which gives it that pop nail comic book look. And I'm just going to take my little dotting tool and add a little dot here. Clean the brush and we'll use black on the other side. Now we will put the illusion of the light reflections on the outside of the nail here.
Oh my gosh, look at how fun this is. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and do another French tip on this side. And I'm going to do something on this thumb as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video so that you'll be able to see what the finished product looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be in the know of what's coming up next. Ciao, ciao for now.